What's up, Cross Roaster Barbell? It is Sunday, May 10th, 2020, and we have programming number 14 today. Parts A, B, and C. Part A is gonna be partition as needed. So partition as needed means you can break it up however you want. You could do it just as written, or you could break it up into um, rounds of five, 10, and 15, or whatever. It's up to you. Just get the work done. You guys have three parts. You're gonna go 50 strict pull-ups, so with our pull-ups, we want to uh, go with a grip just a little bit wider than our shoulders. We're going to pull from straight arms to chin to bar. If we don't have a pull-up bar, we can go barbell bent over rows or dumbbell bent over rows. We're just going to uh, shoot our hips back. We're gonna be chest facing the floor and we're gonna pull right to our belly button. 100 seated strict press. With your strict press, I want you to find a box or a bench or a chair. And from there, you're, just, you're gonna knock out your 100 uh, strict press. We're gonna be working with a weight, if you have the weights available, like in the 30 to 40% range, so nothing heavy. Um, but I want you guys to focus on quality movement. And let's go ahead and make sure we get our head through the window. Arm is straight, elbow is extended overhead. We want to avoid overextension, right? We don't wanna be overextended. We wanna go ahead and pull that rib cage down with our abdominals. We can go barbell or dumbbell there. 150 band pull apart. If you don't have a band for your band pull apart, we can go ahead and knock out some rear delt raise with light dumbbells or um, maybe if you have some kind of weights that you can use for that. What we're gonna do is go ahead, just like the bent over row, we're gonna get in that same starting position where we bend over, chest facing the floor, hips back and we're going to uh, swing our arms out to the sides using our scaps to squeeze our rear delts and our scaps on our upper back. If we, are, if we do have a band with the band pull aparts, we wanna make sure we set our shoulder first. So we grab that band a little bit wider than shoulders and then we're going to pull our shoulders back, squeezing our scaps together, then stretch that band. We never want the band to lose tension. So if you guys come back to the middle and you lose tension, we don't want that. Part B, you have five rounds just two parts in it. You're gonna go eight and eight alternating dumbbell curl. So if you have dumbbells, excellent. You're gonna go left, right, left, right until you've got eight and eight, very simple. And then 16 bench dips. So if you have a bench, a chair, a box, all good. You're gonna put your palms right on that bench with our feet out in front. And we're just going to uh, stay nice and close to that bench. And we're just going to lower ourselves down and then quick extension, elbows are straight on that bench. Part C, you have five rounds, three parts. You're gonna go with a gun walk or a gun hold, a front raise, and then a rest. This will be quick, this will be your finisher. We're gonna go five rounds of this, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. So let's start with your gun hold or your gun walk. When we do gun walks, we usually hold dumbbells. Um, I've never done it with a barbell. Maybe you could see how that goes at home, but with your gun walk with dumbbells, you're going to grab your dumbbells with a neutral grip so that means palms are facing each other and you're just going to walk slowly in any direction. I put hold because I don't know if there, that really makes a big difference if we walk or if we just hold and just stay still, but you're just gonna do that for 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna go with a dumbbell or barbell front raise. So with that weight that you have, we're just going to raise it up in front. I like to have a slight elbow bend. Um, I don't like to have these straight out with my elbows. I also like to pull my elbow, um, my scaps back. So. Pull the scaps back, slight bend in the elbow, and we're gonna go right from the hip, right out in front of our chin. And we're just gonna go for 30 seconds there, trying to do as many as we can. And then we're gonna rest for a minute, and we're gonna repeat that for five rounds. So, those of you that are jumping in this, uh, this weekend, uh, we added a couple people back into the program. Welcome. Sunday is programming. Sunday is more of a bodybuilding type workout. We don't have um, a lot for Sunday, Sundays uh, for most people will probably a rest day. Um, but if you have this stuff, go ahead and play along. If not, uh, you'll have plenty to do this week, I promise. So um, Monday, we got some, stuff, some fun stuff planned. Looking forward to that. Have a good rest of your weekend and I will see you Monday.